Hello everyone, this is Donnie Schaefer, Director of Technical Services at 3 Logic. In this video, we will show you our new integration with the Legion Engage NDE and LE wireless locks with Infineus. There's a couple things you want to make sure you have before you get started. And the first thing is you're going to download the Engage mobile app and you also are going to need an Engage gateway and a license from Infineus. Now, the version of Infineus that is required for a local server install would either be Essentials, Professional, or Corporate version 6.4 or above. It's already installed with cloud, and so if you're using cloud, there's nothing that you have to install or do from that perspective. In addition to that, there's a couple of great videos that I would recommend you watch for cutting in the locks and installing the physical lock hardware on the doors, both for the LE series and the NDE series locks. So we're going to start off with some pre-configuration requirements. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to activate the license provided by 3X Logic that either shipped with your gateway or was provided to you electronically. So we want to go to the Infineus server, either your local server or Infineus Cloud, and you're going to put in your credentials and hit the login button. And from there, we're going to navigate over to configuration and then the settings tab up at the top. This is where you activate a license for a customer. So we're going to go over to the customer view, select the appropriate customer that we're going to add an Allegiant integration license to. And the licenses are per door. So we'll edit that customer. We'll click on the license sub tab. And you're just going to type in your license key and your password here. And then once you've done that, you're going to click the activate button down below. All right, now that we've entered in the license provided by 3X Logic, we're going to navigate to the portal for a legion to create a user account. Now, this user account has to be a valid email and a strong password. So you're seeing the requirements here at least 10 characters, one uppercase character, one lowercase, one numerical symbol, and you cannot have two identical characters in a row. Once you've confirmed your password and you've provided a first and a last name, you're going to check the box there that says you have read and accept the terms and conditions and then sign up. From there, you're going to get a notification that pops up. Just click OK. And this is validating those terms and conditions. So you're going to hit I accept. And once you do that, you're going to receive an email that looks similar to this that you can click on the link and you can validate your account. The third and final step for pre-configuration requirements is to program the API settings, but this is only for local server installs, not for cloud. In cloud, this information is already entered in for you and you don't even have access to system settings. But on a local server, if you're an administrator, you would log in with your administrator account, navigate to system settings link in the upper right hand corner of the software, and from there, you're going to go to the Engage API tab and enter in your username and password created on the Allegiant portal previously. Once you've entered in that username and password, click the Save button below. Now, for the purpose of this demo, we're using Infineus Cloud. We were previously on a local server just to show those API settings, so we're going to hop back over to Cloud and we're going to finish our Infineus setup. Now there's a couple of things we need to do. One is we need to enable a few settings within the customer and we also need to go in and select the Allegiant door types tied to this configuration. So to edit a customer we want to be in configuration and you're going to select the settings tab up at the top then the customers view and from there, you're going to select the customer that you want to enable this integration with. And you're going to select the edit customer action. So you should see an Allegion tab pop up now. And you want to check the box that says enable engage wireless locks integration. From there, you're going to type in your Allegion account once again. And specify which Wigan format you want to use on this lock. 
We're going to select Wigan 26-bit for the purpose of this demonstration, but you'll see that there's a lot of other formats supported as well. Click the plus sign below, and this is going to auto-populate a serial number that looks very similar to what should be your serial number for your gateway. In this case, all I have to do is edit the last four digits, but you're going to modify yours accordingly and hit save. It's important to note that the Allegiant account previously specified within Infineus will receive an email invite to join a specific site. Now this site will auto-populate in the mobile app when you log in and it will be the same as your customer name in Infineus. When you accept the email invite, select the click here to sign in link and then provide your account details. Okay, so let's en enable the door types for the engage integration. Select the edit door types action, then select the two engage door templates and click the save button. So now we're going to take a look at the actual gateway itself and we're going to cover the settings for the engage mobile app for programming the gateway in the locks. So here's what your gateway looks like. If you flip it around, you can actually slide the back off. The gateway can be powered one of two ways. There's a power brick that ships with the gateway itself. You can plug it in right here, or you can alternatively power the device using PoE power. Once you've plugged in the PoE power, you're going to have to give it about 15 seconds or so for it to boot up. It does take a little bit of time, but eventually you'll see those link lights come on. And then you can slide this back plate or the mounting plate back on the actual gateway itself and mount it however you want. So at this time, we're going to navigate over to our Engage mobile app and we're going to log in with our account. Now, once you log in, you're going to see a user agreement. Go ahead and accept that to progress. And up at the top, you see ABC Diller. That is the name of our customer within Infineus. That is also your, now your site name for the mobile app. So to add a device, you're going to click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And then we're going to select our gateway. And you'll notice that there's a little pop up notification here saying that your engage gateway should be flashing a blue light. And if it is, that's great. That means you are able to communicate to that device. So it does ask you to put in a name for the gateway here. This name is arbitrary. It doesn't really matter. It will show up in the app, but I would name it whatever your site location is. So in this case, we're going to call it Denver Office. So from there, you can click Next. Now, this part is very important for programming purposes. You want to make sure you select the IP tab up at the top, not RSI. And then that IP behind firewall slider, you want to move that over. And then we're going to program the server URL and the CA server URLs based off of your actual server information. So if you're using a local server, it's going to vary from what we use for cloud. You'll notice the call out here that will specify the difference between the two. Once you've done that, make sure you select DHCP and do not leave it on zero config because that will cause hiccups during the installation of this gateway. So upon completing all that, you're going to click the Save button up at the top. So from here, we're going to now add the lock. And we have to go back to our site in order to do that. So to do that, you're just going to click the Disconnect button in the upper left-hand corner. Upon disconnecting from the gateway, you're back at your site. So you can click the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner and select the lock type that you want to add. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're using the LE lock. And you're going to notice a notification to turn and release the interior lever. So it's important to be close to that door because this is going to help discover that door in the mobile app. You can now validate that you selected the proper lock in the mobile app by checking the lock to see if it's flashing a red light. So from there, you're going to give this door a name. Now, once again, this name is arbitrary to the extent of you can change it later in Infineus, but Whenever you go to add this door in Infineus later, it's going to show up with that name when it auto-populates. Once you've provided a name, you can continue on. And we need to make sure we disable Wi-Fi by moving the slider. From there, go ahead and click the Finish button in the upper right-hand corner. Now that we've successfully added our LE lock, 
we're going to disconnect from this lock and it's going to take us back to our site and we should see that lock name whatever you named it in our case it was storeroom populate in our list but from here what we need to do is we need to navigate to the actual gateway and we're going to link our lock to our gateway so click manage link devices and this is where we actually tie the two devices together so we're going to click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner again and this should populate a list of all the locks that have been added through the app so select your lock here and that's it you've successfully added a lock to that gateway and if we hit the back button here it's going to show us the signal strength of our door to the gateway now that our mobile app configuration is complete we're going to navigate back to Infineus. And what we're doing here is we're actually going to create the door. So we need to go into configuration. And then from the doors tab, you're going to select the create door action. Drop down the device type and select a legion engage. And then under serial number, you should see your door that you added through the mobile app. And there it is storeroom now remember I said you can name this whatever you want for best practices sake I would name it the exact same as what you named it within the Allegiant mobile app and from there you're gonna program all your normal door settings so give it a behavior specify the inside and outside zone and then these are the two door types we enabled earlier you can select whichever one you want and you'll notice down at the bottom that it says that you have one of one licenses. So you can hit create. Your door will come online with the red circle in the status. Uh, this will eventually change. Just give it a few moments. And then what you need to do is push an update to that door. And that's going to push the door template and all the information down to the door itself. So to perform an update on the door, you're just going to right click on the door and select the update action. What we're looking for is a green circle. So if you see a green circle, you can tell by looking in the legend that your door is online and you're good to go. We hope that this video was helpful in assisting you with the setup of your first Allegiant Engage wireless lock integration with Infineus. Thanks for watching.